The country house in Clarendon Hills is known in the Chicago area for its burgers. But it's also known for something else. I took a ghost tour once many years ago, and one of the stops on the tour was this uh, restaurant. Shadows in the basement go by, and then you go look and nobody's down there besides you. We've had customers that have made comments, especially about the women's bathroom. They'll be in one stall, and then they'll hear the other stall open and close, and they'll see like a shadow or something, but nobody else is in there. A lot of different staff, people that have had different experiences over the years, and customers that claim they've had experiences. Because of this, the country house has become a favorite haunt, not only for customers, but for people interested in the paranormal. We have had different groups come in and leave uh, cameras or uh, video recorders and voice recorders overnight. On one of them, they got very clearly somebody whispering the word lost. Employees say they believe they know who the ghost might be. Thanks to a couple of psychics who visited the country house after strange things started happening. They said there's definitely a spirit. She didn't die here. She died near here around 1956 and something about unrequited love with a bartender. So we called the previous owner, didn't say we have a ghost, just said, do you know anything about a woman dying near here around 1956? They were off by a year or two, but the owner remembered really well because he got sued under the dram shop laws. As the story goes, the young woman left the bar very upset after an argument with the bartender and was involved in a car crash soon afterwards. Since then, not only have people seen ghosts, but security cameras also have caught things on video investigators can't explain. And the restaurant's handyman said he saw the ghost himself one night. It started out with noises coming from the second floor, something very loud like somebody dropping something very heavy on the floor. So I left the bathroom I started to go upstairs to see what that was and the noises stopped. Frank said this happened two more times but the noises stopped every time before he could get all the way up the stairs. I went back to work inside the bathroom and everything was fine for a couple of minutes. Then the jukebox came on and started playing the same song over and over. It was getting a little bit annoying so I left the bathroom again went out into the bar where the jukebox was at and went to see if I could turn it off, couldn't turn it off, and while I was looking at it, it went off. Frank said this also happened two more times, with the same song repeating. And each time he went out, the jukebox would turn off by itself. Another couple minutes went by, no music at all, came on. This time when I went out, there was something in front of the jukebox. What appeared to be a girl in a blue dress, but when I looked at her, there was only the body from the head down to about the knees. There was nothing from the knees down to the floor. Oddly enough, the song that Frank said he heard over and over again that night was not even programmed into the jukebox. Over the years, seven paranormal investigative teams have come to study activity at the country house. We followed one of them. They say they were able to communicate with it by using a flashlight. It seems to respond with turning the lights on or blinking the lights to yes and no. Are you the one that was in the accident? Can you please turn on the light? There you go. There Thank you, you very Thank much. You. But the team did not get answers about why the ghost is there or what might make it leave. So for now, employees think of her as just another regular with her own unique personality. Do you enjoy communicating with us through the flashlight? Can you turn the light on? All right. Thank you very Thank much. You. And sense of humor. If you don't want Jim to sing, turn on the light. Please turn on the light. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Everybody goes and reaches for the light. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh, thank you. Tough crowd, thank you. For Patch, I'm Sabrina Wu.